The title of my research work is Gender and Productivity Differentials Among Rice Farmers in Niger State, Nigeria. Rice is a major staple food in Nigeria, but its domestic production has never been able to meet the demand of the people. To meet the demand of the people, there is need for an improved rice production in the country. This can be achieved by increasing the productivity and the efficiency of the rice farmers in the country. A lot of studies have been carried out on rice productivity in Nigeria, but little attention has been paid to gender productivity differential, which is very important in order to improve the productivity of rice. Apart from that, there is a knowledge gap that has to be filled. So it was on this basis that this study was carried out to fill this knowledge gap. The objective of the study. The main objective of this paper is to compare the resource productivity level between men and women rice farmers in the study area. The output of this research work will definitely provide information that will be useful in designing effective policies toward agricultural productivity in the nation at large. Methodology. The study was carried out in Niger State, Nigeria. Niger State is one of the states in the north central zone of the country and has been ranked the highest producer of rice in the country sampling technique. Primary data for the study were collected using multi-stage sampling technique. The first stage involved random selection of two local government areas in the study area. The second stage involved random selection of park villages in each local government area. While the third stage involved random selection of 75 rice farmers both male and female in each local government, making a total of 150 farmers in the two local governments altogether. 86 farmers, 86 male farmers, and 64 female rice farmers. The selection was based on the proportion of male and female registered farmers at the state agricultural development project. The State Agricultural Development Project is a program put in place by the federal government. This project is expected to monitor the activities of all the farmers in each state. Data collection. Data collection, I mean data for this study were collected with the use of structured questionnaire, which was designed in line with the objective and all the necessary data needed for the research work were properly collected with the assistance of enumerators, trained enumerators from the ADP, analytical techniques. In order to bring out the productivity index, which will show the productivity of the rice farmers in the study area, the data envelopment analysis was used to carry out this analysis. The data envelopment analysis is a non-parametric way of measuring the efficiency and the productivity of the farmer. And the scale efficiency generated through the data envelopment analysis always serves as the productivity index of the farmer. Also, the inputs, uh, that is the maize, uh, I mean, the rice output in kg, and uh, the, 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 the rice output in kg and other inputs such as uh, farm size, labor, a man day, the planting material in kilogram, herbicide in liters, fertilizer in kg, and uh, the capital input as the deposition in Naira were used in running this analysis, results and discussion. There are a lot of results that have been generated from this study. In this slide, only three tables that summarize the, the, the output of the research work are put here. There are some other tables in the body of the work. 
looking at the first table that shows the first result. From the first table, it is very clear that the mean scale efficiency, that is the productivity index of both male and female rice farmers, are 0.71 and 0.63 respectively. This one shows that the male farmers are more productive, resource yield productive than the female. But there's a point we have to understand here that the two categories of farmers, both male and female, were not operating at the productivity, the, the frontier level, the efficiency, the efficiency frontier level, which shows that they still have the opportunity, they still have the grace to improve on their productivity in order to meet the rice need of the country. Also, looking at table two, which shows the comparative test for the difference in mean efficiency estimate between male and female farmers, the result in table two confirm that the mean total and pure technical efficiency with scale efficiency are statically and significantly higher on male rice farmers than on female rice farmers. Then the table three is also an indication that the, 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 that the highest tier, that is about 16.28% of scale efficient farms lie in the group of male rice farmers. So which shows that the, the result actually shows that the, the, the male rice farmers are more productive, resource use productive than the female rice farmers. But still the two categories still have the chance to increase their level of efficiency and productivity given the available resources at their disposal with an improved technology. So as a result of this, the following is recommended that the research efforts directed towards the generation of new technology, especially for rice farmers, should be encouraged in the study area. More so, the female rice farmers should be encouraged by being given more input to operate because there are a lot of discrimination in the way the, the female farmers are being treated. So the female farmers should be encouraged to have access to input which can lead to their productivity. Thank you for listening.